Good morning. On uh, Monday, the 23rd of November. So, yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, yesterday was Christ the King Sunday, otherwise known as Stir Up Sunday. Now, for most people who've heard of Stir Up Sunday, they associate it with the, the making of Christmas pudding so that it has a chance to mature for a, a number of weeks before Christmas Day. And that was, uh, we think, a Victorian tradition. But in actual fact, the name Stir Up Sunday comes from the collect, the, 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 the pr one of the prayers in the Anglican and Catholic traditions for Christ the King Sunday. And it's the prayer, stir up, we beseech thee, O Lord, the wills of thy faithful people. Stir up, we beseech thee, Lord, the wills of thy faithful people. As we <clears throat> approach uh, um, Advent, Evan Sunday, next Sunday, the prayer to stir people up, to reignite the passion for our Lord. And I wanted just to think very briefly about the beginning of this story, about the angel visiting Mary and telling her that she will bear a child, a son, and that he will be called Jesus, and that the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. And Mary says, Amen. She says, Amen, a word that we use regularly, but probably don't often think about what it means. In Greek, she, she would have said, Genoito, in Latin, fiat, in Hebrew and in Aramaic, Amen. Amen, both a uh, 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 let it be a let it be, and a beginning of something amazing. And so with those thoughts for today, God bless you.